Nothing about my life is lucky. Nothing. A lot of grace, a lot of blessings, a lot of divine order. But I don't believe in luck. I remember when I started the school, I said to my uh, beloved uh, friend, Maya Angelou, I said, Maya, I'm so, I'm so, just so proud that I was able to create the school. I said, this is going to be my greatest legacy. And Maya said to me, you have no idea what your legacy will be, she said to me, because your legacy is every life you've touched. And that shifted the way I saw legacy or what you leave behind or what you do. Because Maya ex was explaining to me that, you know, over all the years of watching your show, everybody who decided that they were going to go back to school or lose weight or no longer hit their children or get out of a bad marriage, all of those people who have seen and experienced your voice. And the same thing with everybody here. Your legacy is every life that you've touched. We like to think that these great philanthropic moments are the ones that leave the impact or will make the huge difference in the world. But it's really what you do every day. It's how you use your life to be a light to somebody else's, you know? And it's how you use your work as an expression of your own art, whatever that is. I'm asking the bigger question. Who am I? Who am I really? My answer is I am God's child. I am, I am that which is born of all that is. I am, as Pierre de Chardin said, a spiritual being having a human experience. Come trailing the breath of the ancestors yet, but trailing the breath of the angels and understanding that because I am connected to the source, all that is, all that is possible is possible for me. That's who I am. And what do I want? I don't want to just be successful in the world. I don't want to just make a mark or have a legacy. The answer to that question for me is I want to fulfill the highest, truest expression of myself as a human being. I want to fulfill the promise that the Creator dreamed when He dreamed the cells that made up me. What do I want? You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. There are no mistakes. There really aren't any. Because you have a supreme destiny. When you're in your little mind, in your little personality mind, where you're not centered, you really don't know who you are, but you come from something greater and bigger, and we really all are the same. When you don't know that, you get all flustered. You get stressed all the time, wanting something to be what it isn't. There's a supreme moment of destiny calling on your life. Your job is to feel that, to hear that, to know that. And sometimes when you're not listening, you get taken off track. You get in the wrong marriage, the wrong relationship, you take the wrong job. Yeah, but it's all leading to the same path. There are no wrong paths. There are not. There's no such thing as failure, really, because failure is just that thing trying to move you in another direction. So you get as much from your losses as you do from your victories, because the losses are there to wake you up. So when you understand that, you don't allow yourself to be completely thrown by a grade or by a circumstance because your life is bigger than any one experience.